Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install the piston rings on a four-stroke Briggs & Stratton engine without any special tools. Here's a close-up view of the parts. Here's the piston. It's nice and new. And here are the piston rings. This is an OEM piston kit. It comes with the rings and it is part number 793318. I've actually put a link underneath this video to where you can purchase it directly online. This piston and rings go into a generator and to be more specific, here's the model number of this engine. You can see it right here and the type number and the code. It's critical that you have these numbers when you go to reorder new parts for your engine. And by the way, this is the valve cover of the engine. First of all, I'm going to quickly show you the piston rings. This piece here along with the two rings are called the Euler ring and these are the other two rings. These are the instructions that came with this kit and it shows the rings here that have paint marks on them and these rings go in a specific spot on the piston. So it's very important that you read this over before you even start the installation. Since I'm doing this all by hand, I am going to put a bit of oil on the piston, specifically where the rings are gonna go. All that this is is a mixture of transmission oil and motor oil. Any oil will do for this today. I'm just gonna spread it out. I'm going to start with the oiler ring. You want to put it in the bottom groove over here. And you want to gently spread it to go in the bottom groove. Now I'm going to put this other part here. This part here basically goes in between the two oiler rings. And now you want to grab the second ring and put it on top of that middle part. Again, don't spread the rings any more than you have to. They are brittle and they could break. In the instructions here, it shows that the center ring has two paint stripes on it, and I'll show you that right now. And here they are, slightly green over here and white. It is a bit hard to see at first. And this ring will go in the center groove over here. So I'm just gonna put it in over here like this. Again, be gentle. And I'm just going to lightly spread it like this. If it does go in the top groove, that's okay. Just spread it out again and bring it in the center groove. And this one's in. And now the instructions, it shows the ring with one paint mark goes on the top. And here's the paint mark on this one. Again, I'm gonna insert it into the groove, spread it. And that's it. In the instructions, it specifically mentions that the paint marks on the ring should be to the right of the ring gap. And the paint mark on the top ring also has to be facing to the right of the ring gap. And by the way, there were no paint marks on the Euler rings, so you don't have to worry about that. Now what I'm gonna do is basically spread out the ring gaps. I've got the center ring gap over here, and I'm gonna put the top ring gap totally the opposite. And you also wanna spread out the gap of the Euler rings as well. So the bottom one, the gap is here, and if I turn the piston, you can see the other gap here on top. And now when you install this inside your engine, you should use a ring decompressor. It makes it a lot easier to insert the piston and it avoids breaking the rings as well. What I find you have to be really careful when you install piston rings by hand on a piston is to not break them. The piston rings are very brittle. If you expand them too much, they will break. Again, it's not rocket science. Most people doing this at home will not have all the special tools to expand the rings. But if you're careful, you can do this by hand and do a good job as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe and you can see me in my next video. Have a great day.